Today, I'm going to answer the internet's most searched questions about architects and architecture. Okay, so the way this is going to work is we are going to go into Google and then I'm going to type a question like, do architects blank? And then I'm going to try to answer the top search results of Google. Let us proceed, shall we? Do architects do math? So my answer to this is yes, architects do math. We actually do a ton of math in architecture school. So if you are thinking of becoming an architect but are not good at math, you better practice now because luckily for you guys, math is an easily practicable and masterable skill. Is that the word, masturable? Next question, do architects need to be good at drawing? Yes, architects need to be good at drawing because in order to become an architect, you need to go through architecture school, which has a ton of drawing subjects. Do architects earn a lot of money? Ooh. Okay, so this question feels like a Schrodinger's cat of architectural questions where the answer could either be yes or no. Yes, some architects earn a lot of money, and then there are some architects who do not earn a lot of money. So think of architects like this. Architects are like actors. They're like some big A-list actors like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt. Is Brad Pitt still a thing? Anyways, you guys get the point. There are some architects whom we call star architects because they are a star in the architecture field. And those are the architects who get paid extremely well. And then there are those unknown architects like me who just earn an honest living. Let's move on to the next questions. Do architects and engineers work together? All right, so this is a very controversial question because there is a common misconception out there that architects and engineers are like cats and dogs and we like hate each other. But in reality, architects love engineers and engineers they probably hate architects. Anyways, my answer to this question is yes, architects and engineers work together and I believe they should be collaborating all the time. Next question, do architects travel? So me personally, I do not do a ton of traveling because all my projects are based here in my locality. But I know a ton of architects who have projects all over the country. All right, let's move on to the next phrase. We are going to search, can architects? First question, can architects be rich? My answer to this is short and sweet. Yes, architects can be rich, but it depends on what kind of rich you're talking about. If Elon Musk rich, then I don't think architects can be Elon Musk rich just by purely doing architecture. Next question, can architects have tattoos? Okay, so I don't see why not. Architects could absolutely have tattoos. So I think the reason why this question is here because architects have this public image of being a clean cut, very professional person wearing those blue collar suits and ties and you know all that stuff like a tuxedo i don't know what architects actually wear but you know people's perception on tattoos are slowly changing i think in the future architects are going to have a ton of tattoos like you might see me someday with like face tattoos and neck tattoos and you know unrecognizable with all the tattoos <laughs> anyways we are getting off topic let us go back to the next question can architects sign structural drawings so the answer to this question is no architects cannot sign structural drawings that is why we have structural engineers so that they can design the structure and then they are going to sign their own design can architects do interior design okay so a few years back architects were actually allowed to engage in interior design here in the philippines but recently there was a law that has been passed disallowing architects from practicing interior design so there you go here in the philippines architects cannot do interior design we have interior designers for that. Next question, can architects work from home? Absolutely, I actually work from home a lot. So I just spend, you know, like three to four hours at the site checking on the workers and, you know, checking if all the details are properly done. Then I go back home to work on the details and, you know, the 3D model of that project. So yes, architects can work at home. Can architects advertise? So here in the Philippines, we have this code of ethics as we call it disallowing architects from advertising in traditional media you know traditional media like television billboards newspapers magazines and all that stuff but when social media arose there came a gray area where architects are actually like advertising their works but they're not really advertising they're just posting their works online are architects blank are architects rich some are rich. Are architects in demand? So last time I checked, architects are not really in demand here in the Philippines, but they are in demand in developing countries. So countries like Singapore, Dubai, or any country in UAE, architects are actually in demand. But in third world countries like the Philippines, architects seem to be considered a luxury profession where you can only afford an architect if you are one of the rich people here. Are architects artists? 
I would like to think so. I'm not sure where I would classify myself if architects were not artists. Are architects engineers? Okay, so this is another controversial question, but my answer to this is yes. Architecture actually belongs under the field of engineering. So it should actually be called architectural engineering, but they just shortened it because, you know, architects. So yeah, it's just now called architecture, but actually architects are engineers. Are architects happy? <laughs> Who would ask this question, man? Uh, I would like to think so. I personally am a happy architect, but you know, I have some batchmates who are somewhat stressed in their job, but I'm not sure if they're happy. I'm gonna go ask them if they're happy. Why do architects? Why do architects wear black? So me personally, I wear black because I think this is the only color that suits me. And also black clothes don't stain because, you know, while you're drawing and then you accidentally like splatter some ink on your shirt. Luckily, your shirt is black. Anyways, that is just one of the upsides of wearing black shirts. But otherwise, it's just a personal preference. Why do architects need a license? No, architects do not need a license. But in order to become an architect, you need an architectural license. So I hope that makes sense. Why do architects make models? So me personally, I make scale models to be able to present to the client a physical representation of my design. So yeah, if the client cannot understand what I am showing to them in the computer, then my only choice is to make a scale model and then show it to them in order for them to understand my design. But otherwise, I generally tend to avoid making scale models because they are very costly. And you know, I actually need all of my fingers you guys don't even know how many times I almost cut off one of these fingers. Why do architects use copper roofs? I don't know, copper roofs probably look good. Why do architects actually use any material? Because they look good and they have some sort of, you know, sustainable aspect to them. Why do architects use blueprints? Okay, so nowadays architects do not really use blueprints. We just use normal printouts. Because blueprinting is actually an old way of photocopying architectural plans. So we do not use that anymore because, you know, there's a ton of harmful chemicals involved in creating blueprints. And also when the blueprint comes out, it smells like a public toilet. So as architects, we actually use normal prints now because prices of large format printers have gone down, therefore making blueprinting almost obsolete. Why do architects use line types? So for those of you who do not know, line types are, for example, straight, and then we have dotted lines, and then we have dashed lines and then we have staggered dash dot dash dot lines and all those sort of line types so architects use line types to differentiate various aspects of the drawings for example we use dotted lines to represent hidden geometries on our drawing so there you go we use line types so that our drawings are not confusing af why do architects sketch? So me personally, I sketch in order to come up with ideas. What I do is I just do a bunch of sketches because, you know, it takes little to no effort and it's actually enjoyable for me to do sketching. And then eventually, I will come up with a good design. So that sketch is what I'm going to finalize into an actual drawing. How do architects how do architects earn money architects earn money by getting clients which leads us to our next question how do architects get clients so just like in our previous question when i told you guys architects are not allowed to advertise so in order to get clients architects actually rely on word of mouth and luckily there is now instagram youtube and facebook where we could show off our works and hopefully get some clients through the new media how do architects design houses? It is very complicated. It starts with the sketching and then doing the columns and all the floor plans. And every architect has a different approach. This is going to be a whole nother video that I'm going to do. So to put it simple, architects design houses with our big brains. <laughs> How do architects and engineers work together? Okay, so this is actually a good question. So the way I work with engineers is I do an architectural design and then I send them my architectural design for them to analyze structurally. And then after a week or so, the engineer is going to send me back the structural design. So, you know, it's a back and forth process where me and the engineer collaborate in designing a wonderful structure. How do architects charge? So to put things simple, here in the Philippines, architects charge the clients 10% of the total project cost. So let's say the project costs 10 million simoleons, then the architect is going to be paid 10% of that, which is 1 million simoleons. That is how architects charge. What do architects? What do architects do? We draw a ton of designs, build buildings. 
What do architects wear? So apparently, architects usually wear black. What do architects major in? So in my former alma mater, architects major in architectural design subjects. What do architects do daily? You go to the site, we design, meet with the client. There you go. What do architects wear to work? Okay, so this depends on your architectural firm or your architectural office. But some architectural firms require their architects to wear formal attire. Just in case some client visits the architectural firm, then all the architects are going to look super professional. But me personally, I just wear t-shirts to work because you know, I don't normally meet with clients. Anyways, that concludes our journey into the wide world of the interwebs for today. Thank you, my dudes, for watching. I will see you on my next video. Flying peace!